Okay, in this video we're going to look at a right triangle. And all we know is that one leg is 5 inches and the other is longer, it's 12 inches. We want to know how long is the hypotenuse and what is the area of the square that is formed off of the hypotenuse. So what does that mean and what do we do? Okay, well, let's talk about the right triangle for a moment. We know that this side here is 5 inches and this side here is 12 inches and what's missing is the hypotenuse and the Pythagorean theorem tells us that if we square the first leg and then we square our second leg and we add them together that will be the same thing as the hypotenuse squared so they're saying uh, what's the area of that square in other words what is the hypotenuse squared and I ran out of room here but I think you get the idea a square off the hypotenuse will have sides that are equal to the hypotenuse. So this side will be c and so will this. c squared of course is just c times c which is this area right here. So it's important to connect that uh, in this problem when you're squaring c you can think of that as a square with side lengths c. So what do we do? Well 5 squared is 25. So the square off of the small side here is 25. So we say a squared equals 5 squared, which equals 25. And then b squared would then be the square that forms off of this leg. So b squared equals 12 squared, which equals 144. Now we want to add these two up. So 25 plus 144. And that gives me 169. That means that's, the, that's equal to c squared, because we add a squared and b squared to get c squared. That's the area of this square here. Now to find the side length, we take the square root of that. Right? The square root is the side length of a square with a certain area. So the square root of 169 is 13, because 13 times 13 gives us 169. All right, hope you